Hi, I'm going to go ahead and show you a quick demo on WebEx meetings and how awesome it is. We have some really cool new features that I'd like to bring to your attention. So let's go ahead and get started. So typically before you start a meeting, you're always wondering, you know, do I look okay before I get on the camera? Let me double check myself. Well, now you can do this really quickly within WebEx right before you join the meeting. If you just go ahead and start the video, then the camera is going to turn on and you can quickly see yourself right now before you actually start the meeting and uh, prepare. So if you're happy with what you see, you can go ahead and proceed with the meeting. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the camera now so I can go ahead and show you the rest of the demo. You don't need to see me. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and show you these buttons here and what they do. Uh, typically, you can connect with either a webcam or another type of endpoint. And if you would like to change that to a different endpoint, you just click on connect to video system. Also, if you want to uh, configure the type of audio that you're using for the WebEx meeting, you just click on audio and you can either use the computer audio, which is the default selection, or you can use your phone to call in or just don't use any audio at all. So we'll go ahead and go with the computer audio in this case. And we can test our speakers and microphones by clicking on this button over here, right? And what I'd like to bring to your attention in this settings box is the remove background noise. I think this thing is absolutely amazing because now by checking that box, you can confirm that you're the only one that's going to be heard in your area, in your space. So if you have children in the background playing, if you have dogs barking, if you have keyboards, you know, clacking away, all those noises are going to be gone and it's just going to be you and your participants. So it's going to be a nice, clean, crisp, uh, meeting. So I think this is a great feature. Don't forget to check the remove background noise. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at what else you could do here prior to starting the meeting. You could confirm whether or not you're on mute, right? And what type of speaker and microphone you want to use for this meeting. And away we go. So let's go ahead and start this meeting and see what else we can do within WebEx meetings. So here we are, the meeting has just started and I want to go ahead and show you the buttons here at the bottom of WebEx. So these are some of the things that you can do. We already looked at whether or not we're muted. We already know about starting my video. We can share our screen here, but I'm going to show you a better way to share because this is the traditional legacy way of sharing where you would click here and actually click on the particular screen that you are looking at in your computer. So, and then you always wonder, you know, can they see my screen? Can they see my screen? So this is the legacy way of sharing. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and show you a better way of doing that. You can record the meeting and you can also add reactions. Now I really like these reactions. Uh, because you can pick and choose different types of emojis that show your feeling at the moment. So, you know, we're pretty excited. Let's go ahead and click on the excited emoji. You know, maybe we're, woo, we got something to say, you know, listen to me, right? Uh, this is, this is sad. I don't, I don't like this. So, you know, you have some cool emojis that you can play with and under more options, you can lock your meeting. That way nobody else can join the meeting that was not invited. And uh, you can enable breakout sessions, which I'm going to talk about here in a few minutes. So let me show you how to share a meeting the better way. So we've improved our sharing capabilities. If we click on share, we can go to share my meeting window. Within share my meeting window, what we're actually doing is showing the entire desk that I have. So whatever it is that I'm seeing on my desktop, the participants are going to see as well and we know they can see this. We don't have to ask them anymore, can you see my screen? We know that they can see it, it's an automatic and they're gonna see everything that I am seeing. So this is a really cool feature. So I'll go ahead and stop sharing. Let me go ahead and show you a little bit about breakout sessions. Breakout sessions are basically having the ability to take a really large meeting and break it down into multiple small meetings with small groups of people. So let's say you have, you know, 25 people in your WebEx meeting and you want to break it up into small groups. So each one has their own little sidebar meeting. You can do that with breakout sessions. Let's go ahead and enable a breakout session so you can see how that works. You can configure how many breakout sessions you'd like over here, you know, so let's just say we want five breakout sessions 
and you can have the system automatically generate these things based on the number of people in the meeting, or we can go ahead and manually do it ourselves. So let's manually do it ourselves and create some assignments. So now here are the five breakout sessions that I created, and on the left-hand side would be a list of all the participants in the general meeting. However, it's only me today, so we're just gonna say, I am gonna be assigned to breakout session one. So if we hover over breakout session one, we see that we can rename it, delete it, or assign someone to that breakout session. So I'm gonna assign myself to session one. There you go, now you see that I'm proud part of that breakout session, and I'm gonna go ahead and have my own sidebar meeting. So if I start the breakout sessions, you're gonna see that you know you're, it says you're assigned to it. You can go ahead and join now or join later. And you as the host can manage these breakout sessions, right? If you go to the settings down here, you can pick and choose what you prefer to happen in the breakout session where you could have it uh, automatically end breakout sessions after so many minutes, or maybe when the session ends, you give participants more time before returning to the main meeting. You know, whatever the case may be, you can go ahead and configure your breakout sessions to have specific features here. Okay, so this is a really cool feature. I'm gonna go ahead and cancel out of this. I wanna go ahead and show you that you also have the ability to have a co-host manage your meeting with you. Let's say you have a really large meeting and you know you want to be able to focus on the actual presentation and the material that you wanna present rather than managing the people that are coming and going on your meeting. So if you click on participants, you'll get a list of all the participants that are in your meeting. And again, there's nobody in this meeting, so it's just me. I'm gonna go ahead and hover over my name and I'm going to pretend that I am not the host, you know, that I am just a participant in the meeting. If I right click that person's name and I go change role, I can then choose to make that person a co-host. And when that person is a co-host, they can then take care of all the other things that need to be done in a meeting that has nothing to do with actual presentation and lets you focus on the content. So that's a really cool feature to, to set up a co-host. And here I'd like to show you that you have a few more options um, with participants. You can mute all the participants or you can unmute all the participants and you can also mute on entry, right? So basically uh, everybody that joins the meeting, they don't have the ability to speak. They're just gonna be listening to you, right? So those are your choices here with having a large presentation. I wanna go ahead and talk to you real quick about what we call the WebEx Assistant. This is our voice activated virtual assistant that can help make your meeting more productive. So by default, the WebEx Assistant is typically turned on, but in my case, I am going to turn it on because it's not turned on. So this little icon here in the lower left-hand corner, that's our AI, the WebEx Assistant. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn them on. WebEx Assistant is enabled to save audio highlights. And when you enable WebEx Assistant, it appears in the lower left-hand corner of your meeting window, where it's, in my case, it was all grayed out. So see, now it's all blue and has some color to it, right? And if you wanna turn off the WebEx Assistant, you can, you can do that as well, and you can hide your captions and highlights. And uh, so let me go ahead and show you how the WebEx Assistant works. The Captions tab shows a transcript of everything that is said in the meeting. And if you want to have closed captioning available as well, then you would click on the closed caption icon, which is right here. So let's go ahead and show you a little bit about how these captions and highlights work. I'm gonna go ahead and record the meeting. This meeting is being recorded. And this way we can get an idea of what the captions are. Basically, it's gonna be recording everything I am saying, and it's going to show it uh, under captions, I was on mute. So let's unmute myself. And we can see that everything that I say now is going to be shown as a caption. So we have closed captioning displayed down at the bottom. Uh, as you can see here, I'm getting some captions appearing right now. It's, it's capturing all the dialogue of all the participants in the meeting. So under highlights over here, uh, the system will bring to light anything that is important and highlight that for the participants. Now, what is really cool with WebEx Assistant is that it's voice activated. So all you have to do is use the trigger word, OK WebEx. And when you say OK WebEx, it turns on and starts listening to you. So OK WebEx, what can you do? 
I'm an assistant for meetings and collaboration, not a personal assistant. Okay, WebEx, highlight some notes. Highlight added. So if we want to manually highlight something, all we have to do is go to captions and hover over the uh, point that was made and you can click on highlight. And now it is highlighted and stands out for everybody to see. Now, this is basically some of the things that you can do with WebEx. The next thing that I'm gonna show you is how to use the one button to push.